Come back! You forgot to give me a kiss goodbye! Oof, that was a close one. Hey, why did we go to Saturn again? I told you, I can't find my comic books. Yeah. Now relax. Just do what I do and retrace your footsteps. Okay, I traced my feet. Now what? Oh no! No, Andy, not trace your footsteps. I meant... Never mind. I is there anything you remember about where you left them? Hmm. Actually, yeah. I think it had something to do with rings. I think that's why we went to Saturn. Oh yeah. Hey, Roberta, are there any other planets out there that have rings? In addition to Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune also have ring systems. No, it wasn't them. It was actually bigger. Much bigger. Well, perhaps your comic books are at J1407B. Oh, yeah, J-Rod41689. What? He uh, works down at the Wawa off Union Ave. Hey, does he still wear swimmies to work every day? No. What are you talking about? Not J-Rod41689. I said J1407B. It's an exoplanet with an enormous ring system that's 420 light years away from Earth. 420 light years, huh? That's like... four zillion miles. I'm really good at math. What's a zillion? Well, it's kind of like a million, but it, it has zebra stripes. What? But no. 420 light years is equal to 2.5 quadrillion miles. 2.5 quadrillion miles? That's like... 2.5 zillion miles. What's a zillion again? Oh, it's like a million, but it's got these little spicy zebra stripes and... Okay, enough! Let's just learn about this planet. The planet Saturn is known for its enormous rings that measure about 170,000 miles across. But Super Saturn's rings are much bigger and are estimated to be about 111 million miles wide. That's equal to nearly 4,500 trips around Earth's equator. And there are believed to be 37 of them. Most planetary rings are made of rock, ice, and dust particles. And experts believe that all of the rock, ice, dust, and other stuff in this planet's ring system may be equal to all of the mass of Earth. Experts are shocked that the rings even exist. At first, scientists believed that this planet's sun should technically tear the rings apart, but they recently discovered a way that the rings could survive. They believe the rings could have what's called a retrograde orbit. In this, the rings spin counterclockwise, while the planet spins clockwise. If the rings do spin this way, experts believe that this planet could survive for at least a few thousand trips around its sun. But the weird thing is, scientists aren't sure what could cause the rings to spin this way. Not only are its rings big, but the planet itself is too. Experts believe it's bigger than Saturn and Jupiter. Much of this planet still remains a mystery, as experts aren't sure if it's a gas giant or possibly a brown dwarf star. If it is a giant planet, this may be the first instance of what's called a proto-exosatellite disk. This is a type of ring system where moons are starting to form. But if it is a brown dwarf, then instead of moons forming, we are seeing the start of many planets starting to take form. Whoa. Either way, it's pretty cool. So this planet is likely made of gas. 100%. Gas like hydrogen? Yeah. Or nitrogen? Totally. Or helium? Hey, I'm Mr. DeMeo, and my only chance of reaching a million subs is if I work for Subway. What? Andy, enough with the H-word stuff. We're here. So, what do you think, Andy? Is this place ringing any bells? I don't hear any bells. Just some light music coming from the basement. I like the poo macarena. I like the pearl la le macarena. I like a girl in a key like a gear. Ah, macarena. Hi! What? Not actual bells, I meant. Like, does this place look familiar? Maybe you left your comics here. Yeah. Come to think of it, this place does look familiar. I think this is where I left them. Blast this bad boy and let's see if he's got the goods. Here goes nothing. 
That's him. That's the guy who has my comics. Okay, let's do a little good cop, bad cop routine. I'll be the good cop, and you be the... Meow! I'm a bad cat. What? I think you're confused. Meow! I never poop in the litter box, and I get hair all over my owner's clothes. I'm sorry, Super Saturn. My friends and I are just looking for... My comics! I know you have them. Now hand them over. Uh, I seem to recall you trading your entire comic book collection for this limited edition issue of Guy Fieri vs. Scooby-Doo. What? As well as seven pretzel M&Ms. What? Those comics have been in my family for years. I would never trade them for some weird comics and pretzel M&Ms. Very well. How about instead I trade you three pretzel M&Ms and this limited edition action figure of failed DC superhero Sausage Boy in its original unopened packaging. What? Deal. What? No, Andy. We came here for your comics and we're not leaving here without them. Here, follow my lead. Hey, Super Saturn. As your yellow tablet said earlier, my technical name is J1407B. Or you may call me by my AOL screen name, Rambo Calrissian. No. Okay, whatever. Listen, I have a deal for you. I will give you a special limited edition green puppet if you give us back our comics and tell us some stuff about you. What interest could I possibly have in a green puppet? Well, it's a limited edition. Um, one of 13, Battlestar Galactica, Buckaroo Banzai Puppet. That sounds absolutely ludicrous, but you have a deal. Like the robot SpongeBob said, I am extremely far away from you. I can be found in the Centaurus constellation orbiting a star named V1400 Centauri. Which I should point out, was not named by me. I had suggested Short Round, the name of the lovable sidekick from the 1984 film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Anyway, this star was named Mamajek's Object, after Eric Mamajek, the man who discovered this star as well as me, the Super Saturn planet. And how I was discovered is pretty cool if I do say so myself. But not nearly as cool as this Robocop mask I have from the movie Robocop 3. What? As I was saying, many exoplanets reveal themselves in their own star's light. You see, when a planet passes in front of its own star, the planet will block part of the star's light, and the star will dim for a short period of time. But when I was first seen in 2007, my star repeatedly dimmed randomly for 56 days. This led many to draw the conclusion that I have an enormous ring system. But one thing your robotic Winnie the Pooh did not mention is the unique fact about the appearance of my rings, as it has something to do with moons. Although we are unsure if there are any current moons around me, experts have seen a large gap within my rings, and one obvious reason for it is that a satellite or moon formed and carved out this gap. This potential moon could be as massive as Mars or Earth. Well, there you have it. I have told you everything there is to know, and I have sent your comics through express mail to your home. In exchange, I will take that Battlestar Galactica puppet. If you want him, he's all yours. By the power of Grayskull, this puppet is not in its original packaging. It's worthless, I tell you. Worthless. Oh, man. I can't wait to go home and get my comics. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Just so you know, I have some cool t-shirts that are for sale on my Teespring store. I think you'll like it. Unless you like only wear turtlenecks or something, that would be weird, but doesn't matter. The point is, I have a super secret coupon code hidden in my video, and if you find it, you can use it to get a really cool t-shirt. So check it out and try to find it. But now, I need to thank my patrons on Patreon who help keep this channel alive. Especially, Harper, Lily, and Thatcher McCoy, Alexander and Julian, Cora, Ayer, and Jovi Douthit, Gavin Meidel, Lillian and Davis Sozen, Evan Lee, Timmy C., Burning Wick, Bennett E, aka Pooh Bear, Hannah Y, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Chris the Megalodon, 
Stephen McPhee, Jordana and Aaron, Boaz Kreitenberg, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Leah and Gavin Clark, Ethan and Axel, Renko Kosya and Yaro, Santi Barajas, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Christopher F., Grant and Ara Brown, Kuchan115, Gabriela Encarnacion, Max C., Miera and Mrs. Logrande's second grade class, Avery L., Kate and Sarah, Amelia Silva, Liam Loves Volcanoes, Leif Lake and Ember Anderson Miller, Gavin Watt and his cool dad, JJ Schmidt, Dean Scandalakis, Elijah Robert, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Aiden J, Oshi, Gavin Huggin, Jameson and Isla Smith from Arkansas, Greg Matlock, Mary Margaret M, Amelia and Alan Mills, Jack and Easton Hess, Henry Pavelko, Rebecca Bini, Haley and Ethan Hebert, Evan Gray, Ariella Tishkoff, Jean Amy Patterson, Adeline Fitzgerald, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Callum G, The Rovard Boys, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Connor and Emma B, Luke Raposa, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Farron Witter, Jacob Badutzi Thorpe, Noah Chin, Connor Lecoque and Family, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Lennon, McCotney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, GC, Beatrice Bullar, Harrison Eastwood, Charlie Stone, Olivia and Mila Hikas, Marshall G, Ben and Ollie, Tobin and Nina, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, Nora Close, Eliza Griffiths, and Jonathan Griffiths, Toothless and Light Fury, Medium Jack Page, Aiden Fenway Riley, Brandon Favaza and Mommy, Jake Hartzler, Jakey Jake, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Nura, Charles and Olivia, Jasper Soros Rex, Creative Devin and Zach T, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Mabel and Graham, Sam and Eddie from London, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Lydia and Finn Biersch, Asher Evans, Parker from Needham, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Wesley C., The Gowker Family, Ada S., and Luke and Lily Hurlitz. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, the whole shebang. So check the description box for a link. Now, in my last video, I asked if you had pictures of you with my books that I would feature you in my video. So I have a few of those here. Let's take a look. I got Evan and Lana. They got uh, everything. They're Mr. DeMeo loaded up, so they have to go first. Very cool, Evan and Lana. Thank you. I got this one from Ellie and Howie. Thank you guys for checking out my book. I got this one from a uh, person didn't send me their name, but they've got a Roberta pillow and some pizza pants, so they're automatically in. And I've got this guy, Tim, in Massachusetts. Thank you, and I love your shirt, Garbage Pail Kid are awesome. I got this one from Amelia. She's even got a little Andy puppet. That's very cool. Love it. And this one from Marshall in Pennsylvania. It seems that he's got two books and some National Geographic magazines. You know, he's got it all. So, and last but not least, I got the Ward Brothers with both of my books. Love it. Thank you so much, guys. So, if you have copies of my books and you want to be featured in my next video, send a picture to mrdemayo7 at gmail.com and tell me what your name is and where you're from and maybe I'll feature you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.